Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. Aeronautical Development Agency and the Indian Institute of Technology are jointly working on the development of India's first stealth, unmanned combat aerial vehicle. The first flight trials of the scaled model of the aerial vehicle, which is codenamed SWIFT, will be carried out by the end of this year. The researchers are using a scaled-down model to test their design, which is powered by a Russian Saturn 36 engine. The remotely piloted scale model will act as subscale technology demonstrator to record airflow and stealth characters of the design. Once the flight test program is completed, the recorded data will help the researchers to bring changes to the surface dimensions of the aircraft. Indian Navy is interested and is exploring ways to get inside the program to develop a carrier-borne unmanned combat aerial vehicle which can be operated from the Indian Aircraft Carrier for missions. It is no secret that the combat fleet of the Indian Air Force is declining, with many of the fighters are nearing retirement. Keeping in mind that it takes years for a contract to materialize, the proposal to buy 100 single-engine fighters has made little progress, and even the orders for the indigenous stages light combat aircraft have not been firmed up. For the next project, the Indian Navy seeks to select more advanced submarines than the Scorpion submarines, and also, the defense shield is yet to be put in place. The Army is in need of a new range of combat vehicles and artillery. The Indian Army's requirement of over 2,000 modern infantry combat vehicles has not progressed, even when many private sector companies have shown active interest in participation. 2018 is also the year when the Indian Army seeks to buy modern rifles and lightweight bulletproof jackets. Cochin Shipyard Limited has signed an agreement with Russia's largest shipbuilding company to jointly design and manufacture inland and coastal ships in India. The agreement has been signed with the United Shipbuilding Corporation of Russia, which is the largest shipbuilding company in Russia. The deal covers the design and manufacturing of high-speed vessels, cargo vessels, hovercrafts and other watercrafts, predominantly for use in India. The former Chief of Air Force has said that there is an immediate need to speed up procurement of combat aircraft and increase its strength to 42 squadrons. The force has a good number of helicopters and transport aircraft, but needs to speed up procurement of combat aircraft. The Navy needs to strengthen its submarine wing and needs more maritime surveillance aircraft. He also added that India needs more satellites and tri-services exercises should be held every year. The opening up of defense production to the private sector is a positive move, but the delay in the procurement of equipments are affecting the capability of our armed forces. The Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force flew a sortie in Tejas aircraft today. This was the first time when Tejas aircraft was flown by a foreign military chief. I'm <laughs> sorry.